Let's make something beautiful with resin. Today we're going to be using the regular one-to-one -one ratio epoxy from Let's Resin. You can get it from their website. I'll link it down below in the description box. I'm going to be mixing up 16 ounces today. I always pour in my part A first, so I'm going to pour in 8 ounces part A. This resin is a one-to-one -one ratio by volume, so you want to make sure your measurements are completely equal or your resin will not set up properly. So I'm going to pour Pour in eight ounces part A, and then I'm going to go in and pour in eight ounces part B, which is this here. So your kit is going to come with a jug of A and a jug of B. Really super easy to mix up your own resin. If you've been wanting to try resin, definitely give it a try. It's so easy to do. I was really nervous before I did resin for the first time, and then after I did it, I was like, oh my gosh, I was nervous for no reason. If you follow these mixing steps step by step, your resin will set up perfectly. And when you work with resin, you want to make sure you work in a well-ventilated area, wear nitro gloves, and a respirator mask. So we're going to mix this up for three minutes. We're going to mix slowly. Scrape the bottom of your scup cup, <laughs> scrape the sides of your cup, scrape off your stir stick, and you just want to mix slowly. I like to use plastic or silicone mixing tools. Um, if you use like one of those huge wooden stir sticks that you can get from the hardware store like they used to mix up paint. Those are not treated or sealed in any way, so they can leak air into your resin and give you more air bubbles. So I like to use plastic or silicone. It works really well and helps eliminate air bubbles. And you want to mix slowly. Don't whip it up. You're not trying to introduce a bunch of air bubbles into your epoxy. Just take your time. Like I said, we're going to mix this up for three minutes. And when I mix up my resin, I use the double cup mixing technique. And I'll show you that here in a second. Um, the double cup mixing technique ensures your epoxy is 100% mixed. So this is the mix we mix up for three minutes. I'm pouring it into a new clean cup and you've got to make sure you scrape every single drop out of that first cup or your measurements will be off and like i said they have to be completely equal for your epoxy resin to set up so scrape every drop out that's why a spatula comes in handy um, as well it helps reduce air bubbles and it helps scrape out every drop from your first mixing cup and then once you get every single drop out of that first cup go ahead and mix for another three minutes. And this just ensures that your epoxy resin is 100% mixed. Um, the main reasons why your resin does not set up is it's either under mixed or your parts A and B were not completely equal. Um, I get a lot of comments and questions and emails asking, you know, hey, I did resin and it didn't set up. And then I tell them or I show them how I mix my resin and they're like, oh my gosh, I did not mix it enough. Or sometimes their parts A and B were off. And um, that's the main two reasons why your resin won't set up. And resin likes to be 70 degrees Fahrenheit to set up properly as well. So make sure your workspace is warm. And that's it. We mix it up for three minutes. Now I'm just going to take about an ounce of clear, pour it into my mixing cup right here for our white. And I'm going to fill up this coaster mold right here. Um, we're going to do this one all in one layer. So I'm filling the mold up all the way to the top with clear. I'm going to use the Ocean White Liquid Pigment from Let's Resin as well. Discount code NAPTIME will give you a discount. You want to make sure you shake this up really well. Screw off the cap. Drop in one drop, okay? This is all you need of this stuff. It's super pigmented and opaque, and you do not need much of this at all. And today we're going to be making a resin flower coaster. I wanted to show you guys, you can still get beautiful resin flower coasters with the Let's Resin one-to-one -one ratio epoxy you don't have to have their fast cure epoxy because i do use their fast cure epoxy a lot so if you have their regular one-to-one -one ratio epoxy you can still make a beautiful resin flower so just mix that up really super well you want to make sure that all of that white gets mixed into your clear and now that I have that mix, I'm going to drop down my alcohol ink. You can also get this from Let's Resin. It comes in a set with all these different colors. I'm going to drop down eight drops of their blue alcohol ink. And I love watching the alcohol ink kind of spread out. It's so fun to watch in person. 
and then I'm going to take my silicone paintbrush and just blend that together so there was no harsh lines from the ink drops. Now I'm going to take that white that we mixed up, do a little cinnamon roll swirl up the white as I like to call it, and that's pretty much it. Super simple and easy to make these. I'm going to show you exactly how much white I add right here, and I'm pouring pretty slowly. This is in real time, just taking my time, trying to get a nice line without a bunch of wobbles or wiggles in it. Sometimes when you start pouring resin, you can get like little squiggly lines, so just take your time. Try to control how fast it's coming out of this little cup. And these cups are great because they have a little spout on the end, so it helps you get a nice controlled pour. I'm taking my silicone paintbrush, doing a swirl in the center, and now I'm going to draw my flower petals. And when I do this, I like to think of a face of a clock. So I'll do 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and then split the difference in between those petals right here. And then after I do that, I'm going to do one more line of petals. And I accidentally had a little bit of glitter drop into this, so I'm just going to scoop it out really carefully. It must have came off of my parchment paper. So then I'm going to do one more line just like this, start in the center, go out to the perimeter of the mold, and that's going to be it. Very easy. This um, technique is great to give you beautiful flowers. And I'm going to do another swirl in the center. I wish I would have swirled this a little bit more, and you'll see when we demold it why. I wish I would have just done like a few more swirls in the center, but it still turned out really beautiful. I loved how it was looking right here. That blue color is so gorgeous with the white. And I typically um, add glitter as a second layer to, the, to these coasters, but I didn't do that on this one. I wanted to show you how it looks without the glitter. Let it cure overnight. Here's how it turned out. You can see that kind of little blob off to the right of the center. I wish I would have smoothed that out a little bit more, but that's okay. I still think it turned out really pretty. And I wanted to show you really quickly a comparison. So this coaster here I did a while back, and you can go check out the tutorial on my channel. But this flower was with the Let's Resin Fast Cure Epoxy. So you can see the resin you use makes a difference on how these turn out. You know, I did the same technique for both of them, but this epoxy that I use today is a thinner viscosity than the Fast Cure Epoxy. The Fast Cure Epoxy is thicker, but I still think that this flower is absolutely beautiful. So, so pretty. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope you give this a try. Let me know if you have any questions. And all the products I use today are from Let's Resin. Definitely check them out. They have everything you need to do resin discount code nap time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.